What's up, Ordway fans? Here we are, back to work here at the Mohawk Studio, fresh off the holidays. Hope everybody had a safe, restful, fun, and happy holiday season. We sure did. Today we dedicated the whole day to doing guitar solos, so we're going to check out Tyler and his rig. guys I just got done tracking about seven guitar solos or more let's look at the guitars first I'm not gonna do a slide and do a nine minute video here but <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, my first Les Paul this is a Gibson Les Paul classic it's a 1960 remake I use this for my uh, standard tuning songs it does a great job it's even got a little little neck crack back there. I don't know if you can see, but I repaired that and it still holds a great tune and sounds phenomenal. <laughs> This is my 2012 Gibson Les Paul Pro 1, not the Pro 2 because the Pro 2 has active pickups and fuck that for a Les Paul. But this has a little bit darker sound so I use it for the drop D songs and it sounds amazing. Is there like a tonal difference between the two? You said one was darker. Before, yeah, this one, this one just has a heavier sound to it. I'm, I'm not sure why. It just does, and this one has a little bit more brighter sound to it. And if you can see, I had to do a little, uh, little rig job on there because my bridge is shot, and I need a new one. So I put a little piece of string in there to keep my D string off the fret. So so if you had, if someone had a gun to your head and you had to choose one guitar, which one would it be? Oh, geez, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to choose this one because of the sentimental value. Yeah, I've had this, I, feel I it. got this when I was a junior in high school, I believe, and it's been with me through the thick and thin. And it's a fine wine. It is, and you slap strings on it like I did today, and it just holds a tune. But yeah. <laughs> This is the Marshall JCM 2000 triple super lead. We got three independent channels on it. We got our, our, our crunch channel up here. We got our lead channel here. And then we got an independent, another channel for uh, just cleans. It's 100 watts, all tubed. Sounds great other than it needs tubes replaced, but we're getting some pretty wicked sounds out of it. And this is Slade's Black Heart Cab. I usually play through a Marshall, but they sound pretty similar, so we just went with that. because I like to play in the control room and then we just have the three channels here a little reverb which shouldn't be on hopefully that wasn't before um, we got clean crunch lead all independent we got the crybaby Cry classic walk because it just sounds the best 
and a Korg tuning pedal. That's all I use. I no, no bells or whistles, and that is it. It's all in the fingers and the volume knob, man. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Eh, sometimes the uh, toggle switch too uh, that helps a little bit yep. so how did today go I, th I feel like today went really well um absolutely exhausted but uh hopefully we got some good shit and we'll be bringing it to you soon oh uh, we do and we will <laughs> thanks everybody stay tuned <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.